Welcome to another edition of the Chieftain Rewind. I'm your host, Robert Gambro. I'm here at Runkle Field where the Chieftains took on Ford Falcons in their third game of the season. Let's check it out. Two teams trying to get their first win as Utica travels to four to take on the Falcons. Alex Wells on a draw. Makes half of the Chieftain defense miss. Finally being dragged down at the 44-yard line of Utica. Joey Sorgi the third. And around. Finally brought down at the 21-yard line of Utica. Chieftain defense stops Alex Wells for a loss. But a late hit on the quarterback gets them an unnecessary roughness. Automatic first down. Alex Wells with a sweep right. Down to the two-yard line. The John McKing and McGuire Palicky combining on this sack and holding forward to just a field goal. We are the Frank Schultz for the Henry Ford Falcons. Some hard running through the middle. But the Utica defense stiffens as McGuire Palicky and DeJohn McKing tackle the Falcon runner back for a loss and they take over. Tyler Wysocki cutting his way through defenders. On this drive, Unico will give a healthy dose of more. Tyler Wysocki. Zakin connecting with Christian Gegovic, running through some arm tackles. Then spins his way into daylight. All the way down the sidelines for a 48-yard touchdown. They would miss the extra point, bringing the score to six to three. Ford trying to put some points on the board before the half. Chance Kirkwood to Tavon Thompson. Evan Peltz, option keeper through the middle. He came in for an injured Chance Kirkwood. And around for Tavon Thompson, bringing it all the way down to the three yard line of Utica. Falcons in the red zone on the two-yard line of Utica. Chance Kirkwood hooking up again with Tavon Thompson for the touchdown. The extra point was good, and Ford led at the half, 10 to six. Jeremy Tadas and hits a 44-yard field goal, bringing the score to 13 to six. Zaki slant down the middle to Christian Gegovic, sidesteps a couple of defenders. Finally pushed out of bounds near midfield. Utica trying to make something happen. Zach Keen back to pass. Throws. But into the outstretched hands of Colin Toon. And he's down the sidelines. Nobody's going to catch up. Pick six. Nice pitch and catch by Zach Keen and Kurt Kessin. Rumbling down the middle for Utica. Now Utica driving. Zach Keen finds Christian Gegovic into the red zone of the Ford Falcons. Down to the 18-yard line. Into the red zone, Keen. But picked off by Joe Soji the third, and he's gone. Another pick six. But wait, there's flags. Personal fouls on both teams. Falcons will get the ball but no touchdown. Ford would take over, Chance Kirkwood. Nice wide receiver screen here to Joey Sorgi the third. Dancing around Utica defenders, finally being brought down. The Falcons, Chance Kirkwood. Down the middle to Joey Sorgi the third. Then Kirkwood connects with his backup quarterback, Evan Pelt. The drive continuing into the fourth quarter. Alex Wells muscling in from three yards out. To make it 27 to six, four. Late in the fourth, Alex Wells gets his second touchdown to bring us to our final score. Henry Ford Falcons, 34. Utica Chieftains, six. Tell me about this game. You guys lost apparently 34 to, 30, uh, to 6, which is um, 
disappointing, but you guys did they did fight in the beginning of the first half. Second half was a little rocky, but can you tell me about the game and what you're feeling right now as far as how the game went and how you guys prepared for this game against Fort? Yeah, I mean we we uh, you know we had a rough one last week and we we just wanted to come back and, and get better and, and work hard every day. I thought the the guys had a great week of practice and uh, you know some things just didn't go our way today and uh, you know we we made some. Uh, some big mistakes that, that really cost us and you know Ford capitalized on it and thought they pr played a great game they had some kids that made some big plays and you know they made them in big spots so you know we gotta we gotta find a way to come back on Monday work hard and try and get better for next week and uh, next week is against a very uh, great team as South. well uh, Grand Point South yeah. and um, tell me how you guys are preparing for that game even though you will learn your, from your mistakes this game uh, Zach Keen did pretty well did okay today but a few interceptions cost you guys um, a few plays in the the game as well yeah I mean we just you know we got we got to come back from this we got to find a way to work through it and uh, pick ourselves up and you know I, I rely on uh, our senior leaders for that and uh, our captains to, to kind of keep us going keep us on uh, on course and you know we got to get better that's that's something we pre preach every every week since the beginning of the season we got to work hard and we got to get better every week and come to compete on Friday night Thanks, coach. Yeah. now that the Chiefs are 0-3 on the season they look forward to winning the first game of the season at home against Gross Point South. For now, I'm Robert Gambrell. Thank you for watching the Chieftain Rewind.